what is up guys Alex here back with another video and in this video we're gonna be playing America truck simulator it had an update I was gonna do a Far Cry promo video but ATS had an update so I figured why not this is the Freightliner Cascadia from the last episode we did and it's all customized and stuff with the new interior and I will go over that in today's video and listen to this engine it's the same one that I had in the last video, the same one that I upgraded it with. So we're right up the road from our pickup and we are going to, we're in Denver, Colorado right now or Denver or Fort Collins, I can't remember exactly. Let me, uh, Fort Collins. We're in Fort Collins, Colorado. And there's an interesting story I gotta tell you guys. So I was on my way to pick up my load. My truck was perfect. No damage anywhere. And out of nowhere, this stupid red AI car just completely rear-ended my trailer, did 57% damage to my trailer and 11% damage to my truck. Luckily, there was this repair station right here at the Freightliner dealer in Fort Collins, and I was able to get it fixed. Point is, I got rear-ended on the way up to my pickup, which is right down the road from where we are now, and I figured I'd start the video here since we're right down the road from it, and I could show you guys what I will be hauling, and it's interesting. We're going up to Wyoming. I'm not exactly sure where in Wyoming, but it's only 200 miles. So I figured, why not, we'll just, oh, it's 35 through here, uh, we'll just, yeah, it's right up here at the UPS, at the UPS, come on, gate, come on, gate, open, is the gate not gonna open? There we go, I had to get closer to it, I had to get closer, I tell you what, backing up in here is going to be quite the challenge turn that off and talk to the foreman here I think this is it yes it is frozen vegetables 32,738 pounds and there's no state DLCs released yet yeah <clears throat> yeah that's gonna be a problem Turn my flashes on. Am I seriously caught? I'm caught on the freaking thing. Give me a second. My frame rates when it comes to this game are not that well, not that great, but hey. All right, let's just there so we can get loaded up and I don't think that took them very long to do all right let's turn that off and get the heck out of here cuz I think yeah look good thing I gotta go that way but uh what is that over there I don't know it's a hiring place Traffic, go, 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 go. And I got the hiring place on top of that. Sweet. All right, cool. So it's 35 through here. Let's be sure to do the speed limit. And here we go, 35. My frame rates are only at 47. Maybe when we hit the highway, it'll be better. But for now, it's not. And of course we got unlucky enough that we got a red light. And we gotta stop back because it's the law. But my frame rates are just ridiculously. I don't know why they're so low, probably because I'm recording. But I've got my AC running to hopefully, hopefully keep my computer running cooler. And yeah, but look at the Freightliner's new interior. 
This is the new interior color. I don't know if the table back there is an option. There's a TV back there. There's a table back there with seat belts, of course, and it's green. So let's go. And then the nice trim, the mirrors. I don't really like the mirrors. Well, I do, but I can't really see out of them. I kind of gotta turn my head a little bit to see out of them. So there's that. And it's 25 through here. I don't know why they decrease the speed limit. I'm gonna be turning up here anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But, um, I haven't done a ATS video yet. Still deciding on whether I want to use, I have a webcam on my computer already, like, installed on my computer. And I have a camera on my computer, but I'm still deciding whether or not to use it. And I haven't decided whether or not I should use it. Ha, it was gonna give me a ticket, but it didn't. If you're wondering what engine I am using, it is the Cummins N14. Uh, yeah, the Cummins N14. I don't know which one. I do know that it is the 700 horsepower version of the Cummins N14. And yeah, it's got 700 and something horsepower and 2,800 and some change in torque. And it is a monster when it comes to hauling these loads. No engine does it better than this one. Shoot, the stock game engines don't even do it better than this one. But this engine is a mod. It does have a higher horsepower and torque output than the standard engines. Which is why I like it so much. And it sounds a lot better too. Um, I believe... Um... through here still 45 I believe the uh, now it's 50 oh man I'm forgetting what I was gonna say in haul instead of you haul it's in haul I have a realistic company logos mod I guess I need to get one for the vehicles but oh my god I'm exiting here oh my lord don't ever take this turn this fast and I didn't think I hit it, but I ended up hitting it. I forgot that highway ended. But yeah, that highway ends. Got it. 75, let's do it. Shifting gears. So my total mileage for this truck, my total mileage goal is two million miles. But I'm going to start with, say, 25,000. I know I keep changing the mileage, but that's my mileage goal right now. 25,000 miles. Comment below if you think I can do it, which I am pretty sure I can. On one tank of fuel is going to be impossible, because it can only go like 1,000 miles on a tank of fuel, which isn't so bad for a semi-truck. But when you take into account that I have 280 gallons of fuel, then it makes sense on why it's able to go so far, and I need to change lanes so I can go around this guy. Nope. Doing 78 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour around him. And cruise control. So now we're on cruise control. Because I don't feel like managing the throttle the whole time. I already have enough problems managing the steering the whole time. But yeah, if you're wondering what kind of trailer I'm using, it's a... I don't really know what kind of trailer it is, but... It... It's a 53-footer. It's a reefer trailer. And I like it because it's blue like the truck. I painted the truck blue. If you guys don't know, blue is my favorite color. So, yeah, of course, that's pretty much everybody's favorite color. Blue is just a good color for literally everything. There's one of the step deck trailers. I had one of those, I did a video on one of those. I pulled it with a Peterbilt. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see the step deck trailer again because I don't currently have one. I restarted my profile. 
so yeah but let me know if you guys want to see the step deck trailers again but yeah so and I'm sorry if I always sound a little down or something I um I had a family member tell me family member that watches my videos they told me that in your videos you always sound down man you need to sound a little more uppity and this is what I have to say I am just being myself okay okay I don't I don't feel like I sound down or depressed to you guys I'm I'm not um, and even if I was I wouldn't tell anyone um, but I'm not and honestly this this is like well, a lot of people would consider what I do a hobby. Am I already in... So, I'm already in Wyoming. And Wyoming is so pretty. So, a lot of people would consider this uh, a hobby. Consider the gameplay and everything that I'm doing. They would consider that a hobby. Me, I consider it as a volunteer job. It's a, it's a job, but it's one I don't get paid for. Which I'm totally fine with. Um, I don't really think and it's fine oh why don't I hit me there we go um but you know it's something that I love doing and you know I feel I devote enough time to this to YouTube it just makes me happy doing YouTube videos it makes me happy especially when I get comments and stuff I love reading the comments Oh my god, I had to cut that guy off. You guys saw that in the mirror. I cut that guy off because I was going to run into another guy and it just, oh my god. So, yes, I do. Ah, I do fall off the highway. Um, <laughs> I do love videos and I do read everybody's comment. I know I don't respond to everybody's comment, but I do read the comments. So, it's 80 now. Um, I do read the comments when I get comments and I do really appreciate the feedback that you guys give on my videos um, whenever y'all leave a comment about a game that I should play or about something that needs to change or something I'll do it I mean I can I don't mind changing up the channel a little bit you know because a lot of youtubers have the mentality I feel like a lot of YouTubers have the mentality that they... Well, a lot of YouTubers have the mentality of they like to connect with their audience, which is the way I am. Um, but it's to a point, and it's not everybody, but some YouTubers, like, they'll get comments, and then I feel like some YouTubers just don't listen to the comments of what they're getting or they don't read them or something or whatever or they have somebody else read them and then somebody else that somebody else whoever that may be doesn't really get back to them or if they do get back to them and the, the guy or whoever just ignores the comment i'm not gonna do that okay i will try to reply to as many of y'all's comments as i can um i really do appreciate oh, Crap, I forgot I had the uh, sleeping thing on. Uh, I really do appreciate when you guys comment on videos. I really do appreciate it. And I do read the comments. And yeah, I um, I do mo most of my videos now on my computer. But I read the comments on my phone. Uh, my, my computer and my phone are both linked to YouTube. So i'm able to do that um but uh, i think the guy's getting tired I, I really think he's getting a little tired but we'll make this run and then how oh wrong button i don't know why i always keep hitting the wrong buttons 40 miles he'll make it he'll be fine whoa easy there lead foot driver 75 through here listen to the jake break on this Pretty cool, huh? I thought it was pretty cool. Now 
that's 80 again. I don't know why they, they always change the speed limits. They always do it. I don't know why, but they always do. It makes no sense. You know, originally I wasn't gonna start recording until I uh, picked up the load and was ready to go with the load. But I figured somebody rear-ended my trailer. I'm stopping at the uh, auto shop to get fixed anyway, or to get the repairs done. Might as well start it at the Freightliner uh, workstation or uh, Freightliner uh, 18 wheeler mechanic, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But uh, how do you guys like Storm Chasers? I I love Storm Chasers. It's a great game, in my opinion. But let me know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh my! I almost rear-ended that car. Oh my lord, I almost rear-ended that car. And the reason that I, you know, if I had taken a trip to California, I really was going to be like, okay, I'll start the video after I pick the load up. But I didn't end up taking a trip to California, so there was no need. They had like a bunch of trips to California, and I didn't really want to go there because I've been there before. Not on this profile, but on others I've been there before. Um, but, you know... In my opinion, in ATS, and if the makers of ATS actually watch this video, give California a little more... Make it a little more scenic, a little more pretty. I know California is pretty much like a desert, but, however, I feel like it needs a little bit of work. Just a little bit, not, not much. Now, the other states, like Utah... I think their, uh, their elements of what they are could be expressed a little bit more. Again, this is just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But I think that the state of Utah and Idaho and, heck, even Wyoming, they, they could use a, a little refresh. So we are getting off here. Good lord. This is like one of those weird exits. There's a red light up here. It starts slowing down. There is a turn lane up here. Good. Oh, is the light green? Yes, the light is green. Am I gonna catch it? Yes, I am gonna catch it. Oh my god, I almost... I did, Rick! I gotta tighten up my brakes a little bit. That's a little... That's a little crazy, honestly. Alright, is this cop gonna sight me if I turn? Nope. How's my trailer doing? Uh, it'll make it. I don't know why I wrecked. I am keyboard catting it. I am using only keyboard. Um, so yeah, I only, I only have the keyboard and I discovered another hiring place in this city. You see, they got the, um, forgot what that hotel was, but they got that one. My God, stop. Come on, stop. Thank you. It takes so long. I gotta tighten the brakes. I gotta give myself a bit more stopping power. So. Yep. It just, it takes so long to stop. It's crazy how long it takes to stop. Am I going in the right way? I don't think I am. Oh, I am. I am. Yay. Just for the heck of it. Turning here. My trailer made it, yay. And you know, if I didn't, if I went to the place, picked up the load, and then I had recorded getting reared, yes, that would have been funny. And honestly, it would have made the video 40 minutes long. I don't think that there's a speed bump there. Let me check. Nope. Okay, cool. So we hit enter here, and you know what? Because I'm crazy, I'm going to try backing this thing up myself. Oh, it's right over there. Well, this should be easy. I say it should be, and then it's gonna be a pain in the butt, but whatever. If it's a pain, it's a pain, I'll get it. Nah, this isn't gonna be too bad. 
I don't think it will anyway. But we'll see. With the frame rates, it might be a little terrible, but... Oh, there's a train. I wish they... Uh, ATS, if you're watching, I wish you guys would give the train a better horn. Like... Oh my god, I need to... No, that was completely wrong. I need to straighten up a little more. Like, the train... The trains are great. The train yards are awesome. But I wish it had a more realistic horn. Like... I'm not trying to undercredit the game. It's a great game. That's why I bought it four years ago. Or five... How old is this game? 2016, right? I think that's right. 2016 or 2015. I'm not sure. I think, I'm pretty sure it's 2016. Um, the train horn could use work. Okay? I'm just going to throw that out there. The train horn needs work. And I know the beeper is getting kind of annoying. But it's better than the car horn I had. The car alarm I had uh, before I started. Oh my lord. So when I think it was... 1.43 came out. Okay, I can start straightening it up. Straightening it up. Got it. I do need to pull forward just a little bit. But when 1.43 came out, the backup alarm for the semi trucks, for all the semi trucks pretty much, was a car alarm. And it was the craziest thing I'd ever seen or ever heard. I never imagined that they would have put a backup alarm or a car alarm on a semi truck as a backup alarm, but they did. I didn't record it. I'm pretty sure somebody did. It was a, well, not really a horrible sound, but I'll turn this off. But it was kind of to the point where, yeah, at first it was funny, but after a few minutes it kind of got annoying and I literally had to YouTube how to turn it off because it annoyed me but they got that fixed so cool um yep so let's unload the trailer you gotta hit enter instead of T I, I the first time I got the ownable trailer I hit T instead of enter because I was so used to not hitting it and then hit continue and then it unhooked the trailer and I had to pull out back up and then it hooked up again so yep well that is going to do it for this video guys if you guys did enjoy it be sure to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching and i'll see you next time